What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And today, guys, we do have some market talk. Um, guys, there's a lot. There's a little market crash going on, so we're gonna go over all the prices and all that stuff. What you should do with your MT. And uh, yeah, as per usual, we are gonna have a giveaway in this video. There's gonna be a code word at some point in this video. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that. Uh, video's gotta hit 100 likes. We've been getting a ton of likes on every MT video. So let's hit that 100 mark again. We are on a streak of hitting 100 on every MT video for literally the last two weeks. So let's hit 100 again, bro. We've been doing it solidly. And also, guys, we're going to pop probably this pack right quick. And we're probably going to get nothing because my pack luck is an embarrassment to 2K. It's like, come on. I've Okay, listen. I've spent literally at least, at least, I've dropped at least 15K of MT on, uh, 15 packs of MT on, on packs. So... Oh, we're gonna pop one more now these packs are so bad i have lost so much mt from popping packs don't do what i do i mean they're just it's like dude i don't want an emerald i don't want an emerald uh it's just annoying getting duplicates it just doesn't help me we'll pop one more for the video and then we'll head into the market um it's just really sad how bad they treat me it's like come on dude come on what is this all right okay okay all right, guys, let's get into the market. Um, as for usual, man, the market is actually kind of crashed. Out of this 20s, if you didn't sell them, you took L's. Let's see how much they're going for now. I saw them last night for around 12-ish K. Actually, they're not even that bad. I guess since there isn't, it's not the best moments. Like, it's really not. This might be the week where they finally go up. So this is my predictions, okay? There is a tiny market crash now. Not really, but these are my predictions. So, okay. This is what I'm thinking. 2K is slowly, I feel like, rebooting the market this week, okay? That's number one. So I feel like the Amethyst 20s could go back up. I feel like a lot of cards could go back up. But then again, they also are known for dropping cards Wednesday. So if they don't drop Wednesday, they're going to drop Friday. They could possibly drop nothing too good, which is going to be good for us. This is what I'm saying, okay? Let me, let me rephrase that. So right now... Since the market isn't that crash, they didn't drop the most strongest moments. It is not a bad time to invest because I really do feel like they're going to drop a crazy promo next week getting ready for Christmas. Now, I could be crazy, but this is what they usually do. They usually drop a crazy moments, then a decent moments, then a crazy moments. This week is definitely a decent moments. It's nothing too crazy. There's two diamonds. There's no collection reward. So they don't have that much value. And I'm going to show you the Jalen Brown right now. Let's go over it. Jalen Brown Diamond. He's literally a, under, I believe, 80 or 70K. So let's see. He is pretty cheap. I, I think I'm going to invest a lot of MT um, today. We'll see. 85K. Let's see. So he is really cheap. He's under, I think, 70K. Um, let's see. 70, 70K for Jalen Brown. Now, that is actually kind of crazy. Not going to lie. Okay, so... With that Jalen Brown selling for around there, this is the this is the only thing. So I feel like you can invest. It's not a bad time to invest. But then again, the market isn't really crashed. But then again, I saw a tweet from Denner Struck. There was like a little set. It was hidden. It was right here. It's not on my screen. But on his screen, there was a little set right here. And it says something about 2K. It, said a two, it was like a 2K logo. It was almost like this logo right here. But it said like 2K. Can that mean there is a, a, a kind of like cool, interesting thing dropping? Now, let's look at the packs. Now, I don't see. These packs aren't expiring for a while. These are expiring in two days. All right, so expiring in on Friday. Wait, taste Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, Friday, these expire. These expire next week. So now, so if these expire Friday, now, there is a... This is the only thing I don't like. There is a chance these are... A garbage can um, legacy set dropping Friday that no one cares about. So now if that does happen, no market crash. So honestly, I would take the chances because it's very possible considering these guys aren't a set. So now, now this is why I feel like it's not a bad time to invest. Just because of the fact that they aren't probably going to drop anything till Friday. So if you do want to pick out with this NBA 20s up and follow my methods... Honestly, I'm going to probably pick them up myself too. 
This is what also I think. If they do drop legacies, or even if they drop any other content that isn't too crazy, you're going to make a lot of MT. This might be the week. If you waited on your Amethyst NBA 20s, you could take a giant dub. I honestly believe they're going to go up to like 20k. Because think about it. They're 14k now. They dropped the moments yesterday. It's nothing crazy. So, right now, um, go and try... I honestly would try to pick up Amethyst 20s for under 12k. This might be the week. Last week was a huge market crash. This week might be the week to make MT. So let's go to diamonds. Let's check out how the diamonds are going. I'm gonna tell you what to pick up. So right now, Amethyst 20s are a definite must pick up. That's my that's my um, tip for you guys. So go pick them up. I don't have any. I sold most of mine. Made a little bit of MT, not too much MT. But yeah, definitely take my advice. Try to do it. And guys, this week we have that tournament. I'm going to probably stream the tournament. Um, I am in the tournament. I went 11-1, lost the last game in OT. <laughs> I was down 16 in the fourth, tied it up. I was up three. Fred Van Fleet missed the free throw. He got it back with two seconds, made it with Tracy McGrady, and I lost. And that's how I went 11-1. Terrible, terrible way to load. Terrible, terrible way to lose. But uh, yeah, diamonds are actually not that cheap. So right now, market is actually kind of high. Only thing that you should invest in right now is Amethyst 20s. I'm not even going to lie to you. Nothing has really crashed. Right now, best MT method in the game, Amethyst 20s. Keep refreshing. Keep trying. Also, if you really want to try um, the Jalen Brown filter, Diamond Moments filter. Oh, that's not a bad price. All right, so let me go over to the Diamond Moments filter. So, Moments of the Week 7. You could try doing this filter. If your Jalen Brown's on PS4, he's probably cheaper. But uh, I would go Jalen Brown 70k. Keep refreshing. If you do pull something other than Jalen Brown, if you get the other diamond card, that's dubs. You could also I like this filter because you go moments of the week six. There is a ton of diamonds. Oh wait, you cannot. Let's see. Can you do moments of the week five? You can. So all right, you do moments of the week seven, moments of the week five. You keep refreshing. Not a bad idea right here. This is a pretty good filter. If you do end up getting a Jalen Brown, that's dubs for you. If you don't. You know, it's not the end of the world. Try it with this 20s. Also, heat check filter method actually has been pretty money. You could try it out. Literally, I probably made 5k off the heat check filter in like two minutes. Now, that's a snipe, I think. I believe that's a snipe. Let's check it out. We just got PJ 2k for 1900. You also have to realize that you also have to realize that heat checks are kind of valued right now. So you could pick some up and sell them. So not right there. Okay. I'm going to make a little bit of MT. I'm going to make about 500 MT for the one time I refresh on that. So think about that. 500 MT. Let's say you do two of those a minute. That's 1,000 MT a minute. That's 10K MT per 10 minutes. Pretty big dubs. Try out the heat check filter. It's pretty fire. And this card actually might go up in value. You never know. That's why I like the heat check filter. Pretty, pretty, pretty solid filter. I actually might sit on this filter all day considering the market isn't as crash. And since there are moments out, it's not a bad uh, not a bad day to do the heat check filter, especially when their overalls are rising. If you pick them up for um if they're if you pick them up when they're not rising in overall and they sell and you get them for let's say wait, that Bruce Bowen was a snipe. We just missed out on a huge snipe. Oh wait, it's not Bruce Bowen, it was someone else. I'm bot. But yo. So right now, if you do get those heat check filters when their overall is down, and then you get them when they're, and then you wait till their overall is up, you usually make profit. That is like the big thing. I've noticed that last year and this year it is the same thing. So Bruce Brown, 2K. Let's check his price. It's probably not a snipe because he's been up there for so long. But since his overall is up, it does make me think that right there, since his overall is up, he could go up an overall. He could go up to 4,500 right here. So 2000 is not a bad pickup. This is probably going to sell, and there's going to be this one. There's not a lot on the auction, meaning that this card is kind of valuable. So I would honestly pick up this 2K one right here, and I'm going to wait until this one sells out. Maybe I'll honestly, I'll just pick up both, and I'm just going to sell them for 45 and make that MT because there, there's only one on the auction. Kids are going to need to do it for the set, and honestly, I don't think they're going to wait for a 70 overall bump for the 2K difference. This is probably not a snipe. I'm actually going to check that right now. So this heat check filter is not bad. I'm going to go over it a little bit more in other videos. But right now, I would definitely say this heat check filter is good. I'm at this NBA 20 filter to invest in is good. Right now, those are the top filters I'm going to tell you guys to use to make profits. 
And right now, I don't think they're going to drop content till Friday. I could be wrong. Even if they drop any sort of content. If they drop a legacy tomorrow, it won't matter. It won't, won't affect us. They just can't drop some crazy, insane content to destroy our to destroy our uh, MT methods. So, just keep this for advantage. I really... And guys, I forgot to give out the code word. The code word in this video is do not pop packs because they're terrible and don't give 2k your money. That's the code word. Do not pop packs. Put that in the freaking comments because they're terrible. Don't waste your MC. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take these messages, put it in the back of your head. Let me know how they go. I will be grinding the heat check filter all day today. So make sure you try it too. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more videos. Stay tuned for more tips. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one, guys. Peace.